Winners and losers of quarter one, 2024. Of course, we're talking about the automotive industry, how they did performance wise, latest sales numbers, which ones sold the most, which ones did not, maybe an opportunity to find a good deal. Let's begin here with the winners. Subcompact SUVs. After bursting out of the scene last year, the second generation Chevrolet Trax continues its rejuvenation with 37,500 sales in the first quarter of the year. While the HRV from Honda saw a 44% jump year over year with 38,000. The Mazda CX 30 and the Corolla Cross did wells with 28,500 and 19,000 sales, an increase of 43 and 31% for subcomp SUVs. Now, moving on to BMW, the X1 did well. They launched a new styled X1 last year, prompting a 196% leap in sales last year. To 21,000, the model's best performance in four years. And to start off this year, they've recorded 6,000 sales already, up 90% over the same time last year. The Lincoln lineup also did well, an incredible first quarter, up by 32% overall. The biggest driver of growth was the brand's smallest crossover, the Corsair, up 56% at 6,200 units. The Nautilus was next, 68% with 9,200, and the Aviator also experienced a 19% rise with only the Navigator down in sale. So Lincoln did pretty well. Volkswagen hot hatches are doing well. The GTI registered 2,400 units, up 156%, so the percentage is good. Numbers aren't huge, but pretty good compared to last year at this time. The Golf R collected 1,200 sales, a 125% increase. So the GTI and Golf R are losing their manual transmission option after the 2024 model year. So we'll see if sales of these enthusiast-focused vehicles can keep up once they go automatic only. Small Nissans also did well. The Versa and Sentra, the subcompact Versa sedan, which starts at just 17.5, that's amazing, saw its sales jump by 92%. 7,400 units. The $22,000 Sentra proved to be far more popular. 40,000 vehicles sold, a 78% rise for the first quarter of 2024. The Ford Maverick is a winner. Ford's compact pickup has been around since 2022 and continues to pick up steam, becoming Ford's fourth best-selling vehicle in quarter one, just behind the Transit van. 39,000 were sold. Maverick is up 82% over the first quarter compared to last year. And last year, Ford delivered 94,000 Mavericks, a 27% rise from 2022. All right, you're losers now. Winners first, losers second. Full-size trucks. Ford's F-Series lineup, which includes the electric F-150 Lightning, was down 10% to 153,000 vehicles sold. However, the Lightning did see an 80% jump to 7,700 units so far. Ram's pickup line, which includes the light duty 1500, dropped 15%, 90,000 sales. Only the Silverado experienced a slight bump to 130,000, but this 2% rise was carried by the heavy duty models with the light duty Chevy down 3%. The Tundra did see a 31% rise, but sales of only 36,000 units make it a bit player in this segment. The Ford Bronco didn't do that well. The off-roader had a dismal opening three months this year. Sales down 26% to 24,000 Broncos. Meanwhile, Jeep sold 38,000 Wranglers, up 1% over the first quarter of 2023. Sales of the Bronco during the full 2023 calendar year were also down 10%, suggesting waning interest in this boxy all-terrain SUV. Mini is a loser. Mini has a range of updated models on the way with both the new Cooper hatchback and Countryman SUV arriving in 2025 with gas and electric powertrains. But as Mini waits for these new arrivals, its sales are taking a nosedive with the brand down 13% overall. Its bestseller, the Countryman, dropped 24%. The two-door Cooper hardtop slid by 10% and the four-door variant experienced a 21% decline. Only the Cooper convertible was in the green with a 20% increase. One more loser, the gas-powered Audi SUV. Sales of the German automaker's gas-powered SUV tanked in the first quarter. The Q5 remained Audi's top seller, but fell 33% to 11,500 units, while the Q7 decreased by 35%, and the Q8 down 37 
The only saving grace was its smallest member of its lineup. The Q3 saw a whopping 80% increase, but that's only 7,000 cars. Now that you've seen the numbers, maybe you can focus your research in that direction. If you are in the market for a new or used vehicle, check out quotes.everymandriver.com. Quotes.everymandriver.com is a free search engine for the best deals being offered in your area from qualified dealerships. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, just expand that zip code. Be willing to travel a few miles to save a few hundred, possibly a few thousand dollars on a new or used vehicle. Insider access to dealer pricing. Quotes. EveryManDriver.com. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up.